I did. I saw a lot of cougs in the building, and that motivated me to come out and try to give them a show, to be honest. Um, I spent, uh, although it was the east side, I spent some of my best years in Washington. And uh, just to see that, you know, once a cougar, always a cougar. So to see uh, all the love from the crowd, it, it was uh, really inspiring. The clay, obviously, you always sh shoot well, but your record tonight, 60 points, and tonight there wasn't any shoot around. Do you see any benefits of that for you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was just coincidence, to be honest. Um, I went to shoot around the day I had 37 and a quarter, so I think it might have just been a lucky coincidence. Did you uh, did you know Kevin was going to come out in the Shining Pam jersey? No, I didn't. That was great. Um, I know people are real emotional, especially being from like people from Seattle. You know, it's the first time basketball's been back here since Kevin was here. So uh, this the it did not feel like a preseason game. Just the energy you could almost touch the energy with your hands, and it just it was so fun and. Um, I'm happy we put on a show for them because they deserve it. What part of the night even will you maybe remember most? Probably Kevin coming out in that camp jersey and just the uh, feeling of running through that tunnel and uh, playing at Key Arena. Um, grew up in Portland, so I was able to watch the Sonics a lot, and it would be it was just a lot of fun to be here, man. I, I know there's they love basketball in the city, and they produce some of the greatest talent in the world. Clay, how did you see Kevin soak everything up? Uh, he was just enjoying it. I know it had to be a little nostalgic for him, not being back since I think 2008. So it was cool to see the reception he got. He definitely deserves it. And um, he'll put on a show whether it's the NBA Finals or the preseason of 2018. He doesn't, uh, doesn't matter what circumstance, he's going to play his best basketball. Did you get a good look at the uh, Kevin's lob pass to Damian and the duck after that? What did you think of it? I uh, just showed you a glimpse of what Damian is capable of. That was, uh, I thought that was unreachable. I thought it was a terrible pass, but <laughs> he cocked that thing back and made it look so effortless. And um, that's what he's going to give us all year is just that floor spacing above the rim. I'm happy for Damian. He's an animal out there. Anything else? Good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We'll have Kevin in here in just a couple minutes.